good day everybody. Oli Pakkala here from uh, Team Redland Fanatec and today we are uh, checking out the new McLaren MP430 which is the new McLaren F1 from the 2015 season uh, which came to our racing.com service a few days back. We will review drag the reduction system and the energy recovery system in this video for you. Drag reduction system aka DRS is a tool for overtaking. You will have it in the straight lines when you are less than a second away from the guy in front. When you push a button in the DRS zone, when you have it enabled it flattens out your rear wing. So shortly you will need to be less than a second away from the guy in front of you and you will get a green light into your RPMs for indicating that you will have DRS. Then you will have two lights that you are in the zone and four lights on the RPMs when you when your rear wing is open and the drag reduction system is working. Energy recovery system is a system that harvests uh, heat from your uh, exhaust and brakes and it stores it and you are able to deploy all the uh, energy that has been harvested during the race, depending on what uh, kind of adjustments and setup you have in your uh, MGU unit. And now let's take a closer look about in the garage what uh, setups you have uh, available. There are quite a few ways to adjust the MGU K unit and the ERS system while you're driving and from the garage. First you will have the region gain a value which determines how much you will harvest the energy. If it affects on your car balance uh, in a way that it will, uh, the higher the number, the more understeer and uh, longer braking distances you will have. The lower the number, obviously less harvesting and more oversteer and uh, reduced uh, braking distances. Then you are uh, able to choose the deploy mode. First, you will have a fixed mode which uh, which means that you will have a kind of fixed uh, deploy map all the time and you will uh, determine from the deploy fixed uh, what map you are using the higher the number the less power you will have from your mtuk unit then you have the adaptive mode and the uh, deploy value will be determined from deploy adapt higher the value, the less power you will get from your MGUK unit. An adaptive mode is a mode which uh, adaptively adjusts the uh, ERS system. It is unlike the fixed system, the map is, all the, uh, is all, all the time the same, but in the adaptive mode it uh, adjusts the uh, deployment according to your uh, battery drain. And obviously from your deploy adapt value. And the last you will have deploy ramp, which means that how uh, aggressively your MTUK unit will deploy the power. Uh, if you have value zero, it means that it's the most aggressive uh, deploy ramp and you might have some uh, difficulties in the exits of the cone. And when you have value nine, you have a much, much more smoother uh, exiting from the corners for example. While you're doing racing it's very useful to determine a quick push buttons from your wheel for example to adjust and use different kind of systems. Go to iRacing options and controls and from there on you are able to determine uh, quick buttons which enables established you that you are able to adjust the region gain deploy mode and the fixed and adaptive deploy value while you're racing the two other uh, pretty essential buttons to use are the drs button which you will need to you when you are trying to overtake with the drs and let's check out push to pass button slash overtake uh, which overrides all your MGUK set deploy settings 
and it will uh, deploy while you're pushing the overtake button. It deploys the most out of your MGUK unit. Let's check out a video where I'm using the overtake button. At this point I will have a DRS like you see from the green indicator and uh, I'm using MGU fixed mode deploy value 5. So with the left thumb I push DRS on and then after that with my right thumb I'm using the overtake button to gain the most out of the MGUK unit. To gain a more speed to the end of the turn 1 and in a, that way I am able to do a more efficient overtake. I hope you enjoyed the video and you learned something. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching.